Elbit Systems from Israel offers Sabra Light Tank for Philippines Light Tank Acquisition Project. According to information released on the Facebook account of Max Defense Philippines on October 4, 2020, the Israeli company Elbit Systems has offered its new Sabra light tank for the Philippine Army's light tank acquisition project, which is in competition with Hanwha Systems K21-105 and Otokar Arma-105 light tanks, and Pindad Harimau light tank. Before we begin please like, share and subscribe to my channel, thank you. Elbit Systems from Israel offers Sabra Light Tank for Philippines Light Tank Acquisition Project. According to information released on the Facebook account of Max Defense Philippines on October 4, 2020, the Israeli company Elbit Systems has offered its new Sabra Light Tank for the Philippine Army's Light Tank Acquisition Project, which is in competition with Hanwha Systems K21-105 and Otokar Arma-105 Light Tanks, and Pindad Harimau Light Tank. The Elbit Systems Sabra light tank is available in two configurations including a tracked variant based on the General Dynamics European Land Systems GDELS ASCOD2 and a wheeled version based on the Pander 28X8 armored vehicle also produced by GDELS. Elbit Systems Sabra configurable light tank solution adds highly effective firepower to armored fighting vehicles AFVs. Based on the success of our fully combat-proven armored vehicles and turrets in use by numerous armed forces around the world, the Sabret series of solutions is the latest generation AFV system developed by Elbit Systems. The modular design enables using the same 105mm turret for Tractor 8x8 wheeled platforms to deliver reliable, high-performance firepower to the battlefield. The Sabra turret design benefits from the reference of Elbit Systems and the IDF Merkava, Directorate Mantic Combat Proven Armored Vehicles. The turret's fire control systems, FCS, electro-optics, and 105mm tank guns are in use by the IDF as well as numerous other armed forces around the world. The boot version of the Sabra light tank is fitted with a two-man turret armed with an Elbit Systems Land 105mm gun and one 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. Each side of the turret are equipped with a bank of four smoke grenade dischargers. The turret drive is fully electric with elevation and traverse stabilization. Standard equipment of the turret includes a fire control system, laser range finder, and one panoramic sight with advanced electro-optic sensors, day, night vision, and LRF for an effective day, night, and all-weather fighting conditions. The panoramic sight is used for observation and target aiming. The 105mm gun system is fitted with an automatic loading system with 12 rounds ready to fire. The vehicle carries a total of 36 ammunition, with 24 rounds stored in the hull. The gun can fire a wide range of NATO ammunition including HEP-T, High Explosive HESH, High Explosive Squash Head, APF-SDS, Armor Piercing Fin Stabilized Discarding Sabot, as well as Advanced Ammunition, TMP-HEM-110. The 105mm gun has an effective firing range of 3,600 meters with a rate of fire of 6 rounds per minute. The Pander 28X8 armored offers a unique solution of wheel suspensions characterized by robust chassis components, optimum riding comfort and minimum maintenance effort. Wheel contact with the terrain is comparable to caterpillar movement. All drivetrain parts are fully covered and protected by hull armor. This unique solution provides better protection and bigger ground clearance. The Pander is fitted with an automatic drivetrain management ADM, system. With sensors that check the drivetrain automatically, the unit adjusts power for each axle and wheel according to road, terrain conditions, so the driver can fully concentrate on the tactical mission. This solution enables minimal requirements for driver training. The track platform is a continuous evolution of the well-known and successful ASCOD concept, featuring sophisticated tracked systems and protection technology. Due to ongoing development and technology insertion, the ASCOD offers advanced protection and mobility, large internal volume at very compact dimensions, and a large payload at low GVW. The ASCOD is a seven-wheel station chassis that incorporates the primary common subsystems of power pack, running gear and fuel, within a monocoque welded steel hull construction. The chassis provides the ASCOD with its mobility, mine protection characteristics and acts as the interface for all other primary subsystems. The power pack is located in the front, on the right-hand side, in a chamber sealed off from the crew compartment.
See you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.